Hi everyone! It's Garby here. Have you ever seen these roots in the grocery store? Today, I'm going to make this mysterious root into a delicious Korean side dish. We call it Wong Joring. Let's get started. First, I'm going to chop the end part here. We're not going to use this part, just throw it away. Cut them in like this, you know? So it's easier to peel the skin. Peel it until you see the white part inside. Once you've peeled the skins off, you're going to cut them in third in about index finger length. You are going to slice them into a strip. You cut it in lengthwise. Slice them thinly. You know, if you really don't like to cut it into strips, you can cut it in a diagonal. In this way, it's easier to cut it. You can, you know, cook it just like this, but I'm going to slice them into strips because I want to use this on other recipes later on. So let me keep on slicing them. Prepare some water into a bowl and then a few drops of vinegar. Put them into a water as you cut it. Okay? If you just skip this part, your bulldog will be, mm, how do you say, bitter? It's not quite tannic? I don't know. Anyway, never skip this part. Oh, finally, I'm done cutting. You have to soak them in the water with vinegar for about 20 minutes. Now we are going to make a sauce. 3 cups of water. Add 7 tablespoons of soy sauce. You can reduce or add more soy sauce. It depends on how salty your soy sauce is. 3 and a half tablespoon of sugar. 1 tablespoon of sesame oil. Stir it until the sugar dissolves. You have to rinse bulldog with cold water. Pour them into a pot. Then dump all the bulldogs into a pot. Boil them on a high heat. Probably you will have to boil it for about 10 to 15 minutes. If you see the colors change into brown, it's time to put the honey. Usually in Korea, we use this, this cooking syrup, we call it oligodam. But for your convenience, I'm going to use honey because it's easier to get it from the grocery store. One tablespoon of honey. If you want this to be a little bit sweeter, you can add half tablespoon more. You just need to keep on boiling until all the liquid becomes thick. This recipe is pretty easy, but takes time, including prep time, peeling the skin off, slicing them into strips, boiling them quite a long time. It's just you know, time consuming, but I tell you, this recipe is super duper delicious. The liquid is almost gone. We just need a couple more minutes. Mm, beautiful. 
When you barely see the liquid, we're gonna put just a few drops of sesame oil. It's so good, so good. Sesame seed, sprinkle them on the top. Try this first. It's really good. Hmm. A little bit salty and a little bit sweet. It's well balanced. Hmm. I really hope you guys enjoyed the recipe. If you did, give me a thumb and subscribe me right here. I see you next time.